and I pass the floor to our Madam President Patricia Yap for her opening speech. Wow, thank you to our SAA who later on will become a storyteller. With this, I want to welcome everyone to our advanced hashtag Arden Speakers meeting. And before that, of course, give yourself a big round of applause because today is the first day of April, April Fool's. <laughs> but be very kind and gentle. I'm not going to fool any one of you. But there's one special request that we need to take is to turn on your video if possible, if it is safe to do so. And with your very interesting storytelling face, I'm going to take a photo. So I'd like to request everybody to turn on your video and post. What do you think the most interesting or expressive facial expression you want to give to yourself when you become a storyteller? So it's going to be on my cow, Sanjong. Wow, you are in a garden or a park. Okay, on my count, the most intriguing, interesting, exciting storytelling facial expression you want to give. And certainly, if you want to look at the camera, please do so. If you don't want, it's okay. RBF is also allowed if you know what it means. If you have no idea, it's totally fine. On my count, three, two, one. Okay, one more time. On my count, uh, Sanduni, can you sit a little bit to the back? Because I'm using my other camera. Yes. Uh, yeah. And can you lower your face a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Keep it there. Three, two, one. Okay. With this, I'm going to pass the control to one of our very, very intriguing storytellers that I've ever, ever found. He looks very much like the Asian version of Harry Potter. I'm not sure what sort of adventure he's going to bring us. But with this, let's give a big, big round of applause to our Alif Samsudin, who is our Toastmaster of the day. Back to you and over to you, <laughs> our Asian Harry Potter, Alif. Thank you, our toast, our Madam President Patricia Yap, for such a wonderful welcome. I welcome everyone once again to our meeting today with the theme, The Power of Stories. The reason why I picked The Power of Stories is because we have our toast master, table topic master today, or topics master, some would like, would like to use it. San, who like to use a table topic about fairy tales and he has given some of us a little sneak a little sneak peek on the stories and so i would like to recommend everyone today if given a chance to volunteer for that table topics and yeah. it was it's very interesting it's difficult but very interesting and that's why we are here in advanced hashtag ad, in advanced other speakers now the story itself today relates to all of us because stories, we are here to tell our stories in Toastmasters especially. Some of us like to tell stories. Some of us are forced to tell stories because we want to improve our communication skills. We are here to learn and to share some of our stories. That's why we have contests, we have speeches, sharing stories, is the bread and butter of those masters. And so that's why this power of stories, in my opinion, is the consequential part of those masters, the most important part, a story. Because when I first started out in those masters, I was very afraid to tell my story because I think people are not interested in my story. I think my story are just so boring, are just so uninterested. I think I am not Asian Harry Potter. I think I just some guy in the middle of the woods. No one cares. What should I listen to Alif? But in Toastmasters, it's a safe environment for all of us just to share that a little bit about ourselves because people are here to listen and to share. Before I go on and on and on, 
and interrupt the kismet of of the meeting let me invite our gemarian lai to introduce the word of the day for today thank you toastmaster day alif the word uh, the word of the day kismet with the definition a hypothetical force or personified power that determines the course of future events or synonyms fate or destiny examples she has felt some sort of kismet with him ever since Ford also recently addressed the kismet that led to his casting in the movie so my friends try to use the word kismet as many times as possible back to you alif thank you for introducing the us the word of kismet for today a wonderful word indeed and he will also hold the it's the role of grammarian grammarian and our counter at the same time as well as our timer of to today serving uh, i won't call you to introduce yourself but I, for shortly he will be the timer so he will turn her background with the green when you when you qualify yellow in the middle and red when you are when you are when you have 30 seconds to wrap up without further delay and let me let us move on to the first part of our to, of today's agenda which is the prepared speeches today prepared speeches it will be given by our esteemed speaker sanduni who will be giving about a, a speech on the project about about managing a successful event with her, with her evaluator for today which is alicia so let can we can i call can i call sanduni to the stage if she uh, to 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 prepare herself a bit to prepare to compose her mind are you ready sanduni to call you all right sanduni let me call sanduni to the stage sanduni hish madushani out of comfort zone out of comfort zone sanduni hish Madushani. Comfort and growth are like oil and water. They don't go together. <laughs> you might have heard iterations like this in your life before. Famous philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche has mentioned too much confirm <clears throat> comfort will destroy your creativity and follow the comfort, conformity. Dear Toastmasters of the day, my dear Toastmasters and my dear guests. One day, someone asked me, Sandoni, what's your next project? And I answered, it's something about organizing an event but I have no idea what kind of event that I'm going to organize. Then she answered, what about giving it a try to organize a division council meeting? Oh, a division council meeting? It make a little bit nervous. But the next phrase that she mentioned, this time I'm not going to involve in that, but you have a whole team to help you and I'm going to be in the supervision. And as for, as I had no idea, but now I have some kind of idea, so I said yes. The next thing, and you might, most of the members in this room might know who is that someone is. That is our beloved, distinguished Toastmaster, Alicia Curtis. And the next thing that I stepped into is to ask for help from our team members, four area directors and three from supportive team. And I just asked them, I'm going to organize this division council meeting on 17th February. Will you help me to do that? And they said, yes, we will do that. I'm so delighted. And the best part in that was to find a keynote speaker. So I had few suggestions and from out of those suggestions, I picked one of a uh, humble, great personality. So I had, and he said, yes, 
And prior to that real meeting, we had some conversations in order to make myself and himself comfortable. And it's a wise idea because that made my nervousness a little bit low. And this is the council meeting day. It's a great pleasure that you give, give this opportunity for me to organize this. And now I'm going to introduce you the speaker of the day, past international director, District Stores Master, David Fisher. Thank you very much, Sandini. And today I'm going to talk about the presence of the authentic, the presence of authentic leaders. And I'm going to tell you about eight qualities of an authentic leader. First one, clarity, courage, integrity, service, trust, humility, compassion, vulnerability, and an extra point, self-awareness. The session was over and I But can we pause the time? <laughs> I think the time starts um before four minutes. Yeah, three, four, three, fifty-eight, yeah. something. Yeah, it's like a contest, right? Okay, she's back. Jeff, yeah, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. I hear you. So the session was over and I'm so delighted. And the feedbacks and the feedbacks and the comments that I got at the end of the meeting was really amazing. And at the end of the day, before I go to the go to sleep, I just record how success it was. But in the same way, I I recall what are the mistakes that I make. First one, there is a person inside me who always tells there is time, there is more time, and there is enough time to do that. And because of that, I did procrastinate things. And that resulted me to publish the agenda the day before, and it resulted to limit the audience to a few number, and that's bad. And the second thing, my that the same person inside me always tells me, too much questions will disturb those people and just go for a surface clarification and you can make more assumptions. But that same thing I felt, the same thing this discomfort the myself and the person who deals with me. And those are the lessons that I learned from that. And it's all because I stepped out of my control zone, comfort zone. And even I go Looks like um, Sanduni is disconnected, but I believe she's wrapping up as well. So there you go, she's back. Yeah, and my phone is overheating, that's the reason it's getting stopped. Yeah, uh, so as a lesson, I got to realize how teamwork is amazing and how different talents can be combined together to make something amazing. And even I got to realize that how far I have to go in good communication. There is a lot for me to learn. 
Finally, I realized something that too much certainty won't help us to grow or learn new things, but too much uncertainty create ancestry and less productivity. So it's up to us to divide, decide where we should be in our comfort zone. It's over to you, Toastmaster, for today. Thank you, Sandunis, for such a wonderful speech, sharing with us about your about managing a division council meeting, and also give her a round of applause for give for still still trying even though her connection is not comp is not cooperating with her. So give her another round of applause. She did such a wonderful job. And so let us. Let us, oh, okay, because she is there. Let us uh, go forward with the next part of our agenda, which is the evaluation of her speech. Let me introduce to you a, a call to the stage, Alicia Curtis. Alicia Curtis. Thank you very much, Liv, and also a huge congratulations to San Juni. I asked San Juni at the beginning of January to complete this task for me as the Division A Director. For District 49. Now this was really pushing San Juni out of her comfort zone because as we all know San Juni is quite an introvert, very shy and sometimes does not always want to put a hand up because she's sometimes a bit too scared but when I asked her to do this I believed in her because I've seen the growth that we've had over the last 12 months since she's been a member of our lovely club here but also in Division A and out of her comfort zone she was and it was wonderful to see the conclusion to this particular project now delivered as a speech so I asked San Juni to organize my division council meeting and I asked her to find a keynote speaker I gave her four options and we decided on David because he was lesser known than the other three because they had already been used so some of the things that I liked from this particular speech was we got to see San Juni actually talked to us about what she she experienced. She experienced the love of learning. She experienced the opportunity to grow and to become a better version of herself. And she also learned many lessons. So when we're learning stuff like procrastination, hands up here if you're a you know a a student of procrastination, and all the little hands all go up. I can see all the hands raising and asking many questions. But I think many questions is a good thing when you're actually learning. It, it does tend to get a bit annoying if you are experienced, but I think for San Juni's case, because she's quite new to Toastmasters, it was a wonderful thing. The purpose of this project is for the member to understand planning. She did plan and she explained that she organized, she led and she implemented an event. So she implemented my division council meeting. So that's a big tick on the first one. The second one was for the member to share their experience planning, organizing, leading, and implementing event. San Juni did that as well. So she has met the purpose statement, which is a requirement for all of our projects. So I really want to congratulate San Juni for doing that. One of the things I'd love to encourage San Juni maybe to um, talk about the impact she had Personally, with this event, I know that she says she went out of her comfort zone, she procrastinated, but I would have liked to send the positive. What did it make you feel, San Juni? How did it make you feel? Because I know we talked a couple of days after it and you could not wipe the smile off her face because she realised that this was the big moment, the aha moment for her. And we've seen the improvement and the growth over the last probably nine months since she's joined this and since she's joined us. I would have loved to learn more about what the impact it had for you personally. Did it actually give you that next step to put your hand up to be a club officer for us here at Advanced Hashtag Ardent Speakers? Is it going to encourage you to do the area director role with one of my current area directors who are running for division director? These are the questions I think are, we're all asking now, and I'd love to know the next step in your in your jaw like your journey, San Juni, because I think that will be amazing. Outside of our comfort zone, the power of story, and we've seen what Toastmasters can do for someone like San Juni. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alicia. Thank you, Alicia, and, and 
I would like, thank you Alicia for that wonderful evaluation of Sanduni's speech. Give uh, Alicia a, round, a wonderful round of applause. So let us move forward to the next part of the agenda, which is the table topic se session. Yeah, and before I pass to our table topic, se uh, table topic master San Chan, for his first time in our club as the table topic master, I would like to remind everyone because the table topics is more important to, to use the word of the day, kismet, so that Glai will have to do more work for today. So, San, take it away, San. Okay. Hello, everyone. This time is for a table topic session. Every speaker will be a storyteller. When you, when I show the slides, you pick a number. I will give it, give you one of famous fairy tales. We know they they have a ha happened long long ago story. So based on this, you can tell us a modern story that relate to your life or experience or imagination. Just do it. Have a write down the table topic speaker order in the test bus. Swissing, you are the first one. Let me show you the slides. Which number you want to choose? Suizin. Oh, hello. Oh, hi, hi. Uh, I don't hello. For another... which, yeah. which number you uh, want let to me... choose? Let me choose number four. Four, number four. Yes. And uh, you have a 10 seconds to read the, the story. It's the three little pigs. Do you know the fairy tale about the three little pigs? I have to make my own story. Yes, and you can use this story to to modify your life or your experience or your imagination. Just remember, you have a two okay. minutes. And uh, uh, yeah, thank you. Okay, about five seconds for you. Thank you. To think about. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's My okay? dear fellow toastmasters, yes, okay. I'm okay. Okay, back to you. Yeah. My dear fellow toastmasters and all the guests, if you have the chance to build a house or to build your own life, what will you choose? Will you choose the brick, the wood, or any other thing? Last year, in the middle of the year, Yes, I have got the chance to be independent, to stay alone here. At that time, alone. Have you ever imagined that living alone, is it really safe for you? Yes, sometimes you can say safe. The first time when I lived here alone, after two months later, there was a robbery. Somebody entered my home and take, uh, he didn't take anything, but he entered this home and he just leave, but didn't take anything. So after that case, robbery, I was so scared. I was staying alone as a girl. And I was so scared, like my mind is scaring uh, all the time. And you know, somebody is coming, uh, is somebody behind me or something like this. So if you want to build your own life and to be, independent number one thing is if you are scared of something or scared of the people or scared of uh, any things in your life number one thing you have to do is just be courageous so at the time i say myself like to be courageous 
uh, and to have the courage. Even though I'm scared, I say to myself, uh, it's okay, I have the God and I can, you know, uh, I say to myself, like, I have to be courageous. So be courageous, everybody. You have you and uh, yes, so be courageous. Back to our table topic, Master. Okay, thank, thank you for uh, tracing. The next speaker is Vicky. Vicky, are you ready? Hello, Vicky, are you ready? We have mentioned she's a winner. Okay, which number do you want to choose? No, Sean. Uh, Vicky has mentioned that she is yeah. a win. Yeah. Okay, okay. No problem. Maybe I need to change it to number three. The number three is Helena. Helena, are you ready? Yes. Oh, it's very wonderful. Which number you want to choose, please? I'll go with my lucky number seven. Okay, seven. In Taiwan, have a seven eleven. It's a famous, famous stuff. Next time I will show you. The num the story is about a little match girl. Do you know the story? Uh unfortunately I have not heard of the story before. Okay. I I give you another chance. You can choose another. Oh my god, I <laughs> No problem. Uh, um maybe I'll go with number uh number one. Number one, okay. Number one. The emperor new crosses. Do you know the story? Yeah, this is a famous one. I know this one. Okay, the flower is your. I bet the flower is your. Nah. Come on. Thank you, Shan. <laughs> the emperor's new clothes. Yeah, this is a famous story. Sorry, I believe that most of us in the in this meeting room knows about this story. It's about how the emperor is trying to change his new clothes and then. I can't really remember the details now. I know the story is with changing clothes, but then what I can relate to my stories now is uh, because of how ambitious we are. In order for us to wanting to achieve something great, uh, this is like over ambitious. And then I would say that this has happened to me a lot of time because um, this has actually happened recently. I'm going to tell you the story because last two days I was having, we had a speakathon, right? I know that Pat has actually informed me that yeah, I'm going to have speakathon last week during the weekdays. I have prepared one speech, but then uh, I have booked a slot with other club guests. It seems that the speakathon is not coming. So I thought, okay, maybe just forget about it. I have actually booked a slot with a, another club and then that's it. But then when Pat actually told me on Saturday morning, oh, we're going to have a speak speakathon tonight, I was like, oh my God, I can't really do the other things that I wanted to do uh, because I have already booked a slot and I have given the titles and everything to the other club. So I had to do another topic. So I thought maybe I can just do this speech. And I decided to go with my DTM speech too. I'm going to tell you, I thought that I can do it because I have a really short time to actually go through my speech details. But I thought I can just do it. This, this is like, you know, I can just do it and complete it. This is a kiss myth that somehow this speech, DTM speech too, is going to be for this speaker talk tonight. However, for your information, I I only go to my, I only rehearse the speech details after my part of breaking the past because I was busy the whole week. I had something and at the same time, towards uh, at the evening, I was having like headaches some, somehow, suddenly. So I can't really think, I, I was like just sleeping, laying on my bed. And I only have like very minimum time for me to actually rehearse the whole speech. And I thought this is really not a good idea. And I had to go for my prayer, for my trauma and everything. And only when I done my, after my trawi prayers, and I said, it just, I just wanted to actually, maybe I should cancel it, but then I decided just to go for it. But then I just did it. It wasn't really what I wanted it to be. The speech, I would say that there was a lot of things lacking in my speech. And 
totally not something that I would do if I was, you know, normal minded. But then it's done. So yeah, my point is maybe just do something that you can do and you can't do it. You're but still wanted to do it. Just maybe you have to rethink about it and just do whatever that is within your means, not going over about it. That's it. Over to you. Okay, thank you. Now we have a new uh, cut in. We, I want to choose some gem. Some gem. Yes. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Please choose a number for you. Number eight. Lucky number eight. <laughs> Eight, okay. Prosperity, yeah. Okay, maybe next one will choose 11. Just wait a moment. Okay, you know the little match girl? Oh, I don't know, little match girl. Uh, okay. Oh, match girl. But again, okay. you can choose another, another one. Okay, number nine. Number nine. Uh, Sweeping Beauty, you must oh, know. Oh, okay. Okay, just okay. 10 minutes, you can read the story. Okay. Uh, 10 seconds, sorry. Oh, 10 seconds, okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you for... Uh, for... It, it's ready for you? Yes, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Back to you. Good, good afternoon, uh, fellow Toastmaster and guest. This is Sang Jung, you know, I was born small little island, South Cole Gozier Island. So I had big dream. I was very shy, but I had a big dream in my mind. So I wanna be a inventor. Thomas Edison, you know, he's my hero. I don't know, he came to me, so I was very obsessed about the, I want to be an inventor, you know. So I, whenever I see the car, you know, I can tear down, you know, to something. I want to see what's inside. But I also, I went to school. Nobody teach my dream, you know, feel. So I asked my dad and my brothers, Hey, I want to be inventor. I want to go to Seoul and Rich. And they told me, they didn't tell me anything. Study. You know, study at school. Focus. So what if the, why? I asked them. They didn't tell me anything. So I was, uh, you know, a little bit depressed. So I was to go to nature because we have very nature you know, around where I live. I went to the mountain, I went to the ocean, sometimes like all day, eight hours. I was, you know, I tried to talk to, you know, what is my dream, you know? So I got really, you know, frustrating. But, you know, the, they give a comfort. Nature never complain, but I can hear the sound. Go to America, you know? I met some foreigner, you know? They said, uh, go to America and okay. But at that time, going abroad is very uh, uh, not easy, you know? So, but anyway, but now I know my dream, you know? So I can help people. So that was, uh, you know, kind of, a, is it time, time job or oh, red? Is it, I cannot see the time, is it? That's, Still chasing my dream, but uh, dream is a growing. That's the my name. Sun is growing in Chinese character. Moon is another name. Is a study, study and growing. I'm growing with a toastmaster. That's the my answer. Thank you. Back to the table topic master. Thank you. And let me show you the screen. The next one is uh, maybe I. Uh, read your name is not correct. Eza Osman, do you know anyone is Eza Osman, the guest? Do you know? Hello? I think he left already. Okay, but I will change the next one. Take turn to the Jeffrey. Jeffrey, are you there? 
Yeah, I'm here. Okay, wonderful. Which number you want number to choose? Number two. Okay. Number two, a story for a gar uh, gar travel. The little people, the big little person's country. Do you know the story? Yeah, I kind of know about this. Yeah. Okay. And uh, just for the 10 seconds for you to read the story. Are you okay? All right. Yeah. Okay. Fellow Toastmasters and friends, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jeffrey. I'm quite an inexperienced Toastmasters before. I was uh, 15 years ago. I was quite small. I didn't hold any exco and post and anything. But uh, it's okay. As the time goes on, another two, three years later, I tend to take another exco role, start as SAE, and slowly become, become vice president membership. And after that, become vice president member. But somehow, in my mind, that I think there's a calling for me that I can do a bit bigger in my role that I can serve not just the community, I also want to serve the corporate club as well in the environment, especially in a non-organizational way. So what I'll do is, I ran for election last week, and I did it. I think I will lose because I'm going against the president because I'm just a secretary of my own club. But it's fine. I just go for a fight. I just go. I cannot just go in and then just withdraw myself. I say, I just do the speech, make it as the best as I can. I'll be only given two minutes. But somehow it's only two person running. One is from me, from my club, and the other one is from another club, which is the president himself. So it's starting in alphabetical order. So I'm the first one, and his name is Henry Z. So I said, I, the first one very, hard, very tough, always the first speaker. But it's fine. I, I still go for it. And after my speech ended, then it's go to his speech. Then after his speech ended, all the thing has done. And then at the end of the day, I feel so small. I still, I think I cannot win. But at the end, I win. So ladies and gentlemen, whether you're feeling small or big or whatever, I think one day you have your own potential. You can see it yourself. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for everyone. The time is up. Now back to the TME. Thank you. Thank you, Shan, for that wonderful table topic session. Give a round of applause to Shan. Such a wonderful table topic session. And thank you, fam. You just did a wonderful job. Now let us, while I'm talking, you can vote for the best table topic speaker. And while waiting for our table topic evaluator to vote, Duncan, if you're ready, anytime I call you to the stage to give your table topic evaluation, evaluation report. Thank you very much indeed, Alif. And thank you to Sham for driving what was another tough table topic session, I've got to say. I think I would have struggled with any of those. And also, I've got to give all full marks to everybody who participated here because you were put on the spot. You didn't put your hand up and you didn't, you didn't volunteer. You were volunteered, which is always tough. But it's a, it's a great way to learn. Our first speaker was Shui Sin. Shui Sin? I love the way you went, you stepped straight into this. You're confident. You were looking straight at the camera, which is something that I often have a problem with. And you told, I thought, a very engaging story. As far as suggestions for improvement, very little from me, I'm afraid. Um, all I can say really is try not to cover your mouth when you're speaking. You did that once or twice. But otherwise, great job, Swayson. Really very professional. I thought you did wonderfully well. Our next speaker, Helena. Yes, again, you're another fairly, you're another confident speaker, I can tell. And again, you you dive straight in, which I really liked. You you weren't you weren't phased by the subject matter, 
though I have to say you didn't talk much about the subject matter, which perhaps is something you might want to try to improve in the next next time you go on to table topics. But I really enjoyed your personal story. It was very engaging. Well done, Helena. Our next speaker, Sung Jun. Yeah, actually, I like the way you were standing in front of your sakura because we have sakura here in Japan too. <laughs> Again, you you were you were unfazed by the subject matter. Again, you were a little you evaded it a little bit, but it's okay because it was a very tough question, I thought, and trying to trying to put your own personal story, which you did very well, into the into the context of a well-known story like that is going to be tough. But it was, I thought, a very inspiring personal story that you told us. So well done. Full marks to you. And the other, our next, our final speaker, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, again, you're I think I thought you did a very, a very confident job. Again, you you did you did actually allude to the Gulliver's story, the Gulliver's story, Gulliver's tale. By, I think you addressed yourself really as, you you thought you you thought you were a, you were a small a very small person, but in fact, you turned out to me to be a giant. So you were the you were the giant. You were the Gulliver in that story. Pretty, you did very well, I thought. One thing I would like to suggest, maybe for future for future reference, is possibly try not to move your head too much. You were moving a little bit, which is which can be a little bit distracting. But otherwise, I thought you did a, you did an excellent job. Well done indeed. And that brings me to the end of my session as table topics evaluator. I guess it was my kismet today to become like that, because I didn't really know what it. When I was asked what role do you want to play, I didn't know. <laughs> I ended up with table topics evaluator and I hope I've done I hope I've done you all justice. Thank you to everybody involved and thank you again to Shan for putting together what was quite a quite a tough session. Thanks again. Back to you, Alif. Thank you. Just Duncan. The day. Thank you, Duncan, again for being the kismet of <laughs> by giving the evalu by giving the evaluation for today. I don't know if that's correct or not. I hope Lai accepts it. <laughs> Let's let us move on to the next part, which is the one of the most interesting part in any Toastmasters uh, meeting, who we where we will find out the whether we had used the word of the day correctly or not. Such difficult wheels of the word of the day. So lie, take it away, lie. Once you're ready. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. I leave. Here's my report. I will deliver from the R counter side first. From here is my R counter report. Uh, you, Alif, has one R, repeated words, you are, and about. Sanduni, the host readers are a, repeated words, you, and feedback. Alicia, one repeated words, in your. Sri Sin is scare off, and repeated words, scare off, and a. Helena has um, and the repeated words are book, the slot, this and I only. Duncan, repeated words, you didn't. For the word of the day, it was used by three person. I live, Helena, and Duncan. Uh, actually, I was thinking, is it too difficult? I was praying in my heart that for three person will use it minimally. And the kiss method, it happens, three person use it. I hope it will be widely used. As I know, it's difficult to use, yet we can try to always try to include the word in our daily conversation. Who knows? It may benefit us. Let's go to the grammar report. The words that I found that we can further improve are uh, just some missing words actually. Long, long ago, just missing words. Time, long time ago. To my dream, missing words. To reach my dream or chase my dream. And one, the other one was referring to a younger age, which was quite small. Let's right, put the words quite young at that time. For the beautiful phrase, I have not recorded down. One, two, three, four, four. Two from Alif, to prepare and compose a mind, and as fun as fairy tales by Alif. From Sanduni, too much confirm will destroy your comfort. From Alicia, you cannot wipe the smile off her face. And the last one is fine. I will just go for the fight by Jeffrey. That's my report. Back to you, Alif. Thank you, our Gamarian Live, for being the kismet for the English language for today. 
So give him a round of applause. And I like the part that, you know, road of the day doesn't need to be easy, doesn't need to be common. It just need to be something we can learn about. So let us move on to our timer for today, Servincia, for her re- timer's report. Thank you, I'll just mess up the day, Alif. All right. Um, okay, the first one, our speaker, Sanjuni. Sanjuni, you have a very good time control, very well. No worries, Sanjuni, for your information. If, let's say, next time your line is hanged, we will still uh, give you a extra time, all right? So you have a very good time manage. You are only taking 6 minutes and 15 seconds. All right, so next, Alicia. Alicia, all right, your time is uh, 3 minutes and slightly uh, exceeded, only 1 second exceeded, okay? Which is uh, 3 minutes and 31 seconds. All right, uh, still a uh, good control of your time. And uh, Sui Sin, okay, the table topics, uh, the first one, Sui Sin, she's taking 1 minute and 15, 9 seconds. All right, good, Sui Sin. Helena. Very excited, Helena. <laughs> Helena is taking um, <laughs> four minutes and uh, slightly exceeded. I, I, I didn't count about how many seconds, lah, but it's okay. <laughs> so uh, the next one, Sanjong. Sanjong is very good control also. Um, yeah, even though it's slightly uh, extra, um, exceeded, but I think it's okay because he's outside and he couldn't see the timer. It's, uh, to me, it's considered very good time control, uh, two minutes and 42 seconds. And the last one, Jeffrey is uh, taking 2 minutes and 11 seconds. Very good control. I enjoy your speech, uh, Jeffrey. So, <laughs> okay. The last one, the table topics, evaluator Duncan. Wow, Duncan, you are really super uh, senior to me. You have a very beautiful time control. You are taking as exactly 3 minutes, 30 seconds. <laughs> All right, no more, no, no, no less and no more. Okay, very good control. And back to you, uh, our Toastmaster of the day, Alif. Thank you. Thank eh? you. So, did you did you miss uh, missing the grammarian? <laughs> I didn't come for grammarian. Sorry. <laughs> All right, no problem. Let's say that Lai and Servine had perfect control of time. Let's just have it as that then. And so we have reached the end of this uh, today's meeting. Before I pass the floor to our Madam Patricia Yap. We have some time, so why don't we hear from the guests that haven't had the chance to speak with that, to hear their feedback to this meeting. So first, let me invite Janet, yeah. because you are here. Uh, you yeah. want to give us some feedback? Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, please pardon my voice, because I'm having some sore throat. You can hear me clearly, right? Okay, uh, I find today's a uh, topic very interesting because it ties into Toastmasters is a platform for us to tell a story. Each of us has a story and you, the interesting part to use uh, fairy tale stories as like a triggering point for this table topic session. Well done. Thank you, Jeanette, for that wonderful uh, feedback. Next, let's hear from Sabaria, if she is there. Calling once, calling twice, calling three times. I don't think she's there then. So for you... Oh, Sabaria, are you there? Uh, yes, I have my name. Okay. Um, I have been and out of the meeting, but I really enjoyed the meeting about storytelling. And yeah, congratulations. Well done. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Sabaria. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So let's let's hand it with one more by how about our regular guest then? Jeffrey, you want to say something? I've been missing off for this meeting a few times. I think I've been invited by the president herself. Been quite busy recently. And I express my utmost gratitude to her. I think uh, because of attending every week at least, I can improve my communication. And apart from leadership skill as well, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the invitation again. Yes, thank you, Jeffrey, for such uh, feedback. Yes, was Patricia invite you? You cannot say no. That's the <laughs> rule in those in District Fifty One at least. <laughs> Next, uh, we that do- we have done with our guests. Uh, unfortunately, I would like to apologize to Sang Jung 
and the rest of our guests because due to time constraint, we I am unable to call you to give your feedback. So I pass the floor to our Madam President Patricia Yap. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Toastmaster of the day, Alif. You guys probably noticed Alif is such a great storyteller. <laughs> Yes, I am very liberal. I always send invitation end of the day. I always feel we are such a great community. We embrace different members from different backgrounds, different belief system, different faith, and of course, different gender and different upbringing. And it's such a wonderful, wonderful space for us to really show up and share our story. So I want to thank each and every one of you for sharing your story. Some of you may want to stay back later because Shan actually prepared many, many fairy tales, okay? So if you do want to challenge yourself, I do want to extend invitation later. You can stay back for a short while. Shan, are you okay? <laughs> he has been spending a lot of time to prepare for this session, so we thank you. And on top of that, of course, it's my honor right now to thank our speakers, certainly, Sanduni and Alicia for putting up such a great, great teamwork spirit that we can all learn, right? We can all learn from the speaker Sanduni and of course learn from Alicia how she elevated Sanduni to the next stage by being a great evaluator and at the same time give her challenging things to work on as well. And of course for our Table Topics Master, Shan and Certainly, Table Topics Evaluator Duncan, thank you for taking care of all the speakers. Make them feel comfortable and let them also feel motivated to come back and join us for sure. So at this point in time, it's my honor, of course, to recognize, I know we are only one and one single award, okay? Normally, the award will always go to someone whom we think we have. The, the person is one of the best choice in terms of time management and in terms of content as well. So are you guys ready for the best table topic speaker? Thank you so much, Savaria, for showing up. Okay, over to you, Ali, who is the best table topic speaker? And certainly thank you, Ali, for leading us to the power of story. The best table topic speaker award goes to... Be... Ding, 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 ding. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Ah, Sui Sin, congratulations, Sui Sin. Sui Sin, um, okay, Ali, can you put uh, her surname EI in front of Sui Sin? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a complete I... name. Congratulations, Sui Sin, for sharing your story about courage. And I think end of the day, we all build our own home, the spiritual home or the invisible home as well. So let's spotlight Sui Sin and myself and take a good photo and I will be doing that and let me see who else can help me to take a photo. Alif, can you also help to take a photo? I'm not, uh, I'm while well, I'm not. sharing, I cannot. Uh, let me do it. Oh, oh, yeah, correct. Okay, yes, live, yes. Let me Photographer. Spotlight. Okay, Suisi, post. Yes, oh. courage. Let me spotlight the correct Patricia then. <laughs> okay, let me uh, share the screen again. Is it visible now? Uh, yes. yes. You just have the like the blank space above. Yeah, maybe it's the connections. Very strange. I don't know why uh, I'm using a different laptop today, so I don't know why I cannot see everyone else. So oh. I just me and the slides now. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, get ready. Well, best. Mm. Get ready. One, two, three. Okay, done. Back to you. All Thank right. you. And of course, we want to recognize all the role players of the day. Let us appreciate them because without no role players, there will not be any one of us. Of course, T.O.D. Ali. Let's spotlight Ali. And certainly spotlight Sanduni. Spotlight Alicia. Spotlight Sean. Spotlight Storyteller Duncan. Spotlight Kismet. Thank you for bringing the word Kidsmut into my life, DTM Live. Thank you. And certainly, I'm yes, here. our first time. Yes, Sabine. Yes. Missing Alicia. I'm here. Yay. Okay, let's call Alicia. 
Ah, uh, and you've got to spotlight me as well. Okay, so, okay. okay. I spotlight everyone because I cannot see. Yes, the, 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 almost everyone is here. I'm mm. missing okay. the gallery. Okay. okay. Get ready. One, two, three. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The most beautiful thing in advanced audience, of course, we want to thank everyone and take a group photo now with all our beautiful guests. So we need to unspotlight all the role players now. And yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is what I love, love most about our club is to teamwork together and to help each other always to become the next best version because we never know. We never try, we never know. And the best part, of course, is to share your stories. You never know your story can change somebody else's life. Great. Are we all ready? If you're ready, I would like to request some hand gestures. I think normally if you will remember the olden days of storytelling. Maybe they are old uncle, old auntie. <laughs> they always have a lot of hand gestures when they are sharing a story, right? Once upon a time. Yes, are you ready? Yes. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Okay, Lai, can you help? I'm so happy Lai is helping us. Sure, sure, no problem. Get ready. <laughs> Yay, okay. Get Spam ready. everyone. Get ready. Everyone is a storyteller. One, three, three. two. One. Smile. Okay, back to you, Pep. Thank you. Now we have about two minutes to end, but before that, I really want to hear each and every one of you. Think of your own story, and I just want to challenge you with one descriptive word about your story, okay? Then you come back next time when you stay back later. Think about your own personal story now, okay? It's all about your personal life story. So I'm going to ask, of course, Helena, what is your personal story right now? The word that describes your personal story. What is the word? I would say resilience. <laughs> wow, resilience. Ooh, I love that word. Please put it in the chat. Drop it in the chat. The next person next up I want to share, of course, is San Jong. What is the one word that can describe your own life story at the moment? Your personal story. San Jong. We can't repeat, okay? Resilience is taken. San Jong, what is yours? Next is um, Alicia. Oh, Sanjung is frozen. Okay, Alicia, what's yours? Mine is evolving. Wow, that's a big one. Evolving. Thank you, Alicia. Sanjung, are you ready to share with us your word that describes your personal story? Yes. Oh, okay. Can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. I think a story is a freedom. Oh, freedom. You Yes, you like a uh, think about it. You know that nature, they don't tell anyone what to do. They know mm -hmm. what they know. So like a bird, they can fly. That's the mm -hmm. story. We got so many break mm -hmm. pushed by someone. I think people mm -hmm. you don't do whatever you want. You don't do usually block others. Don't mm -hmm. block others. Go full full speed. Okay. And they have a, a lot of experience. Good, Freedom. good. Thank you. Serving, what's yours? Followed by Duncan. What's the one word? Yes. Okay, I like Sanjo one. Huh? Okay, by the way, can I use two words uh, instead of one? Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Certainly not April Fool, <laughs> but it's bounce <laughs> back. Okay? Oh, bounce, bounce back. back. Yes, always bounce back, regardless of whatever you're facing. Always bounce back. All right? Yeah, that's you. a good one. Thank you. Duncan, what's yours? Followed by Alif. Oh, mine is chaotic at the moment. Oh my God, chaotic! Yeah, <laughs> got to be here, there, and everywhere. Mm. Drive up to the mountains, come back. Yeah. And then, uh, the tile man hasn't gone done a good job, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. <laughs> mm. Okay, we wish you all the best in chaos. You probably will have some new realization or inspiration. Yeah. Can't wait to hear from you. Maybe the power of chaos or DIY for next week. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. How about the next person? I, I forgot who I called now. Is it Jeffrey or Alif? Vicky, get ready. What's the one word that describes your life uh, story? Yes, you Alif. You call me, so just, I just say yes. it. Uh, 
it's uncertain. A lot of uncertainty oh. in the future. Okay, a lot of uncertainty. Vicky? Consistency. Consistency. Okay, that's a big word. Consistency is the key to success, by the way. So, Vicky, you're going to be very successful because you picked this word. Jeffrey, what's your word? Jeffrey, then followed by Sean and Lai. Momentum. Oh, momentum. Wow. Okay, that's a big one. Momentum. Lai, what's yours? And Sean? Currently, conflict. <laughs> conflict? Yes. Okay. I hope you will find comfort in conflict because conflict can be good. It can be scary, but it can be very good. Sean? Actually, I just do it about the iceberg for the for how to con connect with my children. So maybe oh. not a not a good book, but it's just like how to connect with our children. Wow. Okay. Ice, iceberg. Oh, okay. Good. 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 Okay. Swissin and Sanduni and Helena, if you are able to come, turn on your video. Yes. What's the word? For your life story now yeah for me hope if, uh, like because this is the situation is so hard and very mm. uh, difficult very now. dangerous so hope for the best and hope for the best so hope yeah never lose hope mm. okay i like that sanduni if you're okay let us know your word to describe your life story now let's keep going yeah whatever happens keep going Keep going. Yours is keep going, Sanduni. Yeah. 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 Great. And Herlina, how about yours? Let's put your word of the day that describes your life story in a chat box as well. The mm -hmm. reason why we do this so that we remember. Yeah. But are you calling Herlina? me? Yeah. Oh, I guess I thought that I had given out the word just now, resilience. So, yeah, yeah, resilience, right? I can't have enough of resilience. So I do feel resilience is such a great gift to all of us. Janet, what is the one word that describes your life story? Perseverance. Perseverance. Resilience as well? Perseverance. Perseverance? Yes. Thank you. So as for me, uh, my big word now for the next, because now it's April, May, June is another quarter. So mine is really the patience. The patience to work on myself, to forgive myself. The patience that, you know, I have to sometimes wait for things in life to happen. But uh, always have the patience, right? To, to get whatever we want. Patience is, for me, very important. And all of you, thank you so much for staying here with us. And please go back if you have to attend to your next meeting right now. I won't hold you any longer, but it's been a great joy. And for some of you who want to attend Shan's Table Topics, please stay. I think some of us have not attempted yet, so you probably want to give it a try. So we did. Thank you so much for staying back with us. We extended a little bit of time because we thought it's important to get to know one another and of course know your word the best word that describes your life story. So with this, we send you a lot of love once again. Stay back with us. So some of us who haven't attempted um, Shan's table topics, Alicia, you want to try? Lie as well? Yeah, Alicia is ready to try, man. Okay, so you are free to dismiss, but if you want to try more, Serene, you probably want to try as well to stay back, okay? So Shan, back to you again. We are doing a after party table topics. <laughs> <laughs> and I will let the yes, slide. Duncan, you want to try too, right? Yeah, I'll have a go. Yeah. Okay, just just okay, wait a Alicia. moment. Just yeah. wait a moment. Alicia, then Duncan, Lai, Serene. I'm sure all of us want to try. Okay, Duncan. Uh, uh, sorry, get Alicia first. Choose? Yeah, sorry, Alicia will go first, then followed by Duncan. Did we want to stop the recording as well? Oh yeah, we have to stop the recording. That's a good one. <laughs> recording, yeah. recording, recording. And Duncan, you can choose anyone. Yeah, we I have think... to stop the recording. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, okay, I okay. Think, yeah, I think uh, Alyssa's, Alyssa's got